So you're a Drupal 8 site builder and you don't have access to the theme, but you need to test out some CSS or JavaScript to see if it's going to work just the way you want. Well, I have a solution for you. Hey, thanks for joining me for another OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about a terrific module called Asset Injector. It allows you as a site builder to add CSS and JavaScript to your site without having access to the theme or messing with a lot of code. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm over here at Drupal.org on the Asset Injector page, and you'll note that you're able to inject CSS and JavaScript using this really great module. It installs like any other module. It was last updated in December of 2019, and you'll note that the Drupal 9 version is planned to be released. So that's really terrific. This module will continue to be available to us. Once you install the module, head over to Configuration, Development, and you'll see a new item called Asset Injector. You can choose to inject either CSS or JavaScript. I'm just going to use a simple CSS example to make the point. Click on CSS Injector, and I've already added one, so I'll just edit it. Typically, you'll give it a name. You'll add the actual CSS code in here. Now, you don't need anything except the actual CSS for whatever variable you're trying to manipulate. Decide whether it's just print or screen or all. You can pre-process the CSS if you need to. And then you can add conditions to say, now where should this CSS be injected? Well, I've made it pretty simple. I've just injected it on one individual node. So you can really pinpoint where your CSS or JavaScript is going to be injected. Well, I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to head over to that node. Here I am on the home page. And when I click on the node, well, guess what? My H1 has turned red. Well, that's it. Now. It's not really a replacement for having your CSS and JavaScript properly placed inside your theme. But in a pinch, the Asset Injector module can really be a time saver and even a lifesaver. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Please remember, subscribe, like the video, and thanks for watching. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin.